from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. Okay, this video is maybe a little bit overdue. Yes, it is. We're talking Blade Show Atlanta 2021. 2021, yes. Right, so we were there. Barrow uh -huh. Engineering was there. Yes, and we kept walking by there because it was so busy. And we were like, okay, we'll stop back by when it's not as busy. That time never happened. Right. They were completely crowded. Uh, husband and wife team is Vero Engineering. Yes. They were completely crowded every uh -huh. time we went past. And we were just like, all right, we'll check it out later. Uh -huh. Later. Later. And when we finally got over there, everything was sold out. On Sunday afternoon, <laughs> the last day of the show, yeah, it, everything was gone. Yep. So, anyway, we were lucky to score a knife. This might have been one of the knives from the first run of of that time maybe because yes. ours we'll get to the specifics a little bit but we have a mini accent here yes we do and everybody just kept saying have you checked them out have you checked them out no they were too busy we couldn't get over there i think this is the second run i'm pretty sure well it's a limited edition numbered yeah. version okay yeah this video is going to be more of a first impressions maybe mm -hmm. lighter on the details one reason is they're not available? They're just completely sold out <laughs> everywhere. Well, this is kind of more of a um, public service announcement video that if you find them, you need to get them because they sell out really fast. It's one of those knives yeah. we're seeing already, and, and they've, uh -huh. they're have they pretty new to the scene, it seems like. Yeah, they are. Uh, and they hit the ground running. There's hmm. one option that is available. What's that? It's if you have this hand. Left hand? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. They're available. In what? An Axon? Yeah. Okay, so... There's a left hand version available. Which is interesting. Not too many <laughs> manufacturers, knife makers, designers are offering a right. left handed dedicated liner lock or frame lock. It is cool. Yeah. So, for those left handed freaks out there. Okay, well let's get to some of the details. <laughs> this is um, this is the Axon Mini. So there mm -hmm. is a full size version to this knife. What's really cool about it too is when they are available, Yeah. there's so many different options. We'll, there's so many. We'll put a link into the website, but mm -hmm. the what she's talking about is, you know, find your right combination. It might take you an hour or two on the website to, sometimes to decide. Sometimes for me, it's hard because you can't decide. And so like there's sometimes too many options. Yeah. But then it starts as low as 195 and goes up to, what was the highest? Close to 300. 265? 265. And satin brass, I think is the most expensive at 265. All right. But that one is beautiful. All these options yeah. are this knife. Mm -hmm. All right. So check them out for yourself. But what are we looking at here? Okay. This is a production knife. Yes. An American designer right. behind this and some American materials. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, where's M390 from? I forget the actual because 204P is, is an American steel. Where's M390 from? It's Bowler Oodle Home. So, okay, this, this M390, this particular version of the steel is European. Yes. Higher end materials. Um, it's an American designer in this case. It is produced by a Chinese manufacturer. Frankie and I have talked about them in the past. Best Tech. It's made by Best Tech. Best Tech. This is one, I don't know, I'm going to say 2018. This is the engine. Kind of an example of one of the higher end knives that they mm -hmm. can do. I want to say this is like two something. What was this knife? I kind of forget, but it's titanium and carbon fiber. So it is really nice. See the video on that. Uh, you'll have to search it, but it's probably a 2018 video is my guess offhand. But Best Tech can do some nice stuff. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's who's making the Vero, the mm -hmm. Vero knives right now. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is a Best Tech knife. Which one was this one? That's a Texel. This, but American designer, too. This is representative of their lower end mm -hmm. price-wise uh, uh, materials. Yeah. Fit and finish. See the Best Tech videos. It's a good brand. It's a good manufacturer. But what have we got here? What's the big deal? Why are they selling out everywhere? They well, did go to some dealers here and there, some uh -huh. of the smaller dealers. And when, when you go to search them online, they're gone. They're all yeah. gone. They're just cool. It's a cool little knife. 2021 uh -huh. is when these were released. Going into 2022, I love the design. I just think it's maybe a little futuristic, but just 
<laughs> I want to just say it's just modern. It's, it's just... modern, simple. It's everything that you need and everything and nothing that you don't. That's a good point, I mean, too. It kind of actually has two ways of deployment, too. We had just talked about front flippers, but it has the little slot that makes it so it's more finger flickable, too. So, go ahead. The primary deployment on these knives we're doing... Well, okay. it is just a as front I say flipper. The, just as I say, the primary deployment is the flickability. Well, I thought you were going with, like, that's what most people will... I wouldn't say that's what most people will do at all, though. Yeah. The front flipper, because look at it. It has a pretty good slot to it. It's tiny. Mm -hmm. The slot, the cutout, and then the access to the cutout in the micarta in this case, um, that's what I go to on this one. By the way, this knife, too small for my hands. <laughs> but there's a big size version out there, but it's not available We either. just don't have it. So this is yet another example of a Frankie knife that she gets her way and I don't. Well, you know what? You need to keep me happy. Okay, fine. It's separate, worth it. Separate videos. So the front flipper, in this case, you wouldn't even, I just wouldn't call it a front flipper, it's except so minimal. you could use it like that. Yeah. Okay. It's again, this knife is too small for my uh -huh. hands, but you can even do that a way. A good reach around? Yeah. Don't search that, but it's it is true. It really does work though. It has multiple ways of deployment. Mm -hmm. Just roll it out. Yeah easy i don't know it's i definitely <laughs> want to see more mm -hmm. i want the larger version of this which did exist they're just gone yeah but they've got the the frame lock versions as well the price definitely jumps up this version being 220 micarta yeah with the um the black wash blade mm -hmm. okay yep. well it is really i i like it it's cool it's i like the micarta on it too it's more of like a little bit rough, so it will wear in and yeah. give it more personality. So lately we've been into micarta, and one of the reasons is you actually get, a, a, in many cases, you get a little bit of grip to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to say sandpaper because it's not like that, but it's almost just like a little bit of texture. I like the difference in color, too. I think it just makes it a little bit different because, like, for, I don't know, G10, it's just kind of basic compared to... I don't know, the uniqueness of Micarta. Yeah. And G10 is still awesome, especially because you can just get this or that color and, and, and pick your favorite color. But Micarta is just interesting. It's unique. It's different, like she mm -hmm. says. Well, stat-wise, maybe this video will be a little light on. Well, I can do some stats. Go ahead. Overall, it's six and a half inches. Yeah. Blade is 2.85. 2.85 on that. Mm -hmm. What? What are we calling it? Sheep's, sheep's foot. Sheep's foot blade. Okay. And then, well, I can do a little bit of actual. Like, yeah. What does stance. the knife weigh? It's, it's really light because I mean you're getting less weight because of micarta anyways, and it is skeletonized in there too. Oh, I didn't even look at that. Let's show that. Yeah, it is. Before we weigh it. I don't know if you can, can get we into see? it. See. Yeah. So the liners in there. It's tough to see right now. Mm -hmm. We should have. Uh, I don't have a flashlight right next to me. It's in the box, but okay. Uh, anyway, maybe. What is the weight? 2.29. Very light. Super light. Very light. Yeah. We've each carried this knife. <laughs> I've probably actually carried it at this point more than you. Yeah, you have. Just enough to knife frustrate quarter. myself. Just enough to frustrate myself because I want the bigger version of it. Yeah. 0.52. So maybe pretty much average on oh, the handle stock thickness. And it doesn't feel like that because that really is, it's raised in the center and it's tapered down on the end because oh. it actually feels way less than that because it tapers. So it's more like 0.44. Okay, interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so it's more substantial ultimately, but there's a, some taper to it. Here, Let's let me see. Oh my gosh, we have a bunch of flashlights in here. Yeah. There's the back spacer. Oh. We'll go ahead and show that. What is the flashlight that you got there? It's the Olight Warrior Mini 2. Okay. Can they see inside there? There we go. There you go. Yeah. A little bit of that skeletonization, mm -hmm. as we're talking about. But there it is. Good detent. If you really want to, you can shake it out, but I don't know. It's. I wouldn't change the action. Put it that way. Well, and what they also have too, these are available at the moment. 
These are the fulcrums. Okay, these probably the deserve their own video. We're talking the fulcrum mini, and there's, and a, full there's size, a full size, yeah, full size version to this. This is a titanium. I guess you'd almost call it a, a multi tool. Mm -hmm. It's a magnetic tip to it. Bit driver. Yeah. So there's a little Phillips and then a flat head. Yeah. And then that little baby pry bar too. With a clip. Mm -hmm. So you could just pocket clip this. Anybody in the world should be able to carry and, and use this. Yeah. I would think. And then, well. It's a nice little magnetic It weighs tip nothing. Too. And you're going to be able to use it for all kinds of stuff. Well, should I this, weigh it now? now this I'm might be, uh, by the way, I claim this. This might be a new EDC <gasps> regular for me. Yeah. Weight shirts. Less okay. than an ounce. Less than an ounce. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Super crazy. Deserves its own video, really. Mm -hmm. But I might start using it and it we'll is talk cool. about it more. It is really cool. Oh, and you get some uh, candies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and then the, the one, one in each. Well, uh, this is what's funny. This case is huge for this little knife. <laughs> well, maybe that was for this case was it for probably the large is. one yeah. yeah but it's yeah. like I, I joked i was like this is like me in a full size uh, king size bed it's okay. like this is how much room i have left over in the bed nice good reference okay well it's what it is oh here oh so that's for this actual knife mm -hmm. the m390 black washed black micarta it's considered black micarta yeah okay okay yeah, it's a darker micarta, yeah. sure. Well, I think that's what they consider most of these, or they, or or it's like gray micarta. Uh, similar, we brought it's out pretty much the yeah, similar to that one. This one's a little bit darker, but they all kind of have their own personality when it comes down to it too. Kaiser Roach, and then we just did a video on this. This is the flipper version of the Infinity by Kaiser, but similar color configuration, I guess. Yeah, very similar. It does look really small. But then here's the Berg Blades Mini Slim. Yeah. And then here's the um, MKM Isanzo. Uh, Italian made, yep. Yeah. And then I thought this was a very comparable one. It's the Kaiser Feist. Mm -hmm. It is a front flipper. It's just kind of similar size wise. Really pretty similar, yeah. yeah. Overall, what have you got here? I actually just got that out because it's uh, that same style of cutout deployment. Mm -hmm. That's the TRM Nerd, is it? Yeah, it is the Nerd. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, see our video on that, an older video. Same kind of idea. Not as good of an action. <laughs> no. If I'm looking for the well, it doesn't have like as big of a slot. Yeah. And uh, then my little Cuff EDC. Cuff EDC by the Young Ma. Yeah, that's the the mini version basically. And then this is the Gavco Shark. We did a video on this, I believe, yeah. but um, I've not done much with it at all. I carry it. I love the color okay. of it. Okay, all right. I think this one was a, a good comparable. That's probably, yeah, the most comparable. This is a Kaiser Sheepdog. It, this is the mini in the cutout version. But the, you're getting lesser steel with this one, too. Yeah, not as, not as a high end of material mm -hmm. on that with the blade steel, but... Well, then you brought this. You got the UTX-70. Just for the heck of it, you can get a basic UTX-70 here and there for around this price. 30? Where are we at? 195. Where's the knife at, though? Is my <laughs> right? Oh, jeez. I'm, I'm like, I'm looking through all this stuff. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. You, you put it... Right in front of your face. That's embarrassing. If you made it this far, give us a thumbs up. Aww. Make sure to subscribe. Yes. Vero Engineering. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal? Well... I don't know. I can just say that we want more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want more, and we need follow to actually... them on Instagram. So when they drop, then it, they're available because you kind of can hit on the pre-orders too. Yeah. Because I think that there's something else pre-ordered is live on some other model. You just really have to start following them, like we mm -hmm. do, to to get to know this brand. Yeah. So, I think that's everything for now. We really. We could go on and on about the options listed yeah. on the website. Oh, they're so, and then you can customize them too, which is really cool. Yeah. That's what I like. I always like customization. Well, in here, you can even customize the fulcrum, which is cool. No blade play at all with these super tight that way. Yeah. 
but you can get the different little bit holders in mm -hmm. different colors. So you can just do like a little pop of color, which is fun. Pop of color, yeah. Pop of color. Aren't there Timascus kits for these knives? I mean, there's a lot of stuff. You're mm -hmm. just gonna have to go on the website and search for yourself. You but. could get a Timascus clip for this too, which would be super blingy. I want a Timascus clip for the larger version of this knife, which I don't have yet. Yeah, yeah. well, you, you're just fancy like that. I don't know, it's 2021 going into 2022 and I just, it's, I like the style a lot. So they actually do have the Neuron, it's a non-locking knife too. Uh, so it's a very similar mm -hmm. design and, and, and size like and everything? It's pretty much exactly the same but just non-locking. Just non-locking, okay. Yeah. Is that available right now? Well I'm trying to Oops. click on it but it's not letting me. Alright. So, well. And that's going to be subject to change, like any yep. of these videos, depending on when you're watching it. So mm -hmm. high demand, that's yeah. what we can tell you. So, mm -hmm. Okay, well, we got a bunch of <laughs> extra stuff out that doesn't necessarily need to be out here. here. Best tech is who's behind it. Vero Engineering, we're just getting to know them mm -hmm. and love it. Yeah, if you go to shows, you can buy them from shows too, which is really nice. Yeah. They usually have a decent supply at shows. So, love how hidden the appearance is on on the liner itself, mm -hmm. just a but little bit. But it's just bit. perfect. It just fits perfectly for your thumb. If if I had to complain, which I shouldn't on this knife because it's too small for my hands. <sighs> if I had to complain, the access may be a little scarce on the actual liner itself. You have big thumbs. But it's but too small. But for me, it's fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. It's too small. Uh, yeah. It's too small of a knife overall for me. So that's why I'm saying that's why we need the well, you want his and hers version. Don't complain. Yeah. It's mine. Okay. It's my knife anyways. Here, you can have this and I'll have this. <laughs> okay. Fair trade. I, I do claim this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's all. If you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. And thanks a lot for joining us. I wonder what these taste like. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Candy? I've had candy in a long time. I'm surprised they lasted this long. All right. Yeah. Thanks for joining us.